Standing down there talking over their strategy. Haley and Katie are talking it over. Are you ready for this? Are you excited? Yes. What target are you on? Two. Two. One of them high targets, the top one. Yeah. I started on the top two. <laughs> what? What place are you? Like sixth or something like that. I didn't shoot real good. Maybe tomorrow will be better. No? He'll do all right. Just remember, one arrow at a time, make them all the best you can, right? If you make them all the best you can, that's all you can do. from Wausau shooting at 10 yards in the Cub Division and she's shooting really well this is Carmen's target she shoots at bucks and bulls like two or three times a week. Katie oh, talking Lord. things over. The girls are laughing and having fun. It's Haley and Katie. And the yellow and red. Katie's from Stevens Point, Haley's from Holman. They're both shooting hinged back tension releases.
Do you know how to add? <laughs> yeah, not really, no. Stay warm this winter with a heated jacket from Frank's Hardware. Get your rechargeable Milwaukee Tool heated jacket in a variety of colors and styles. It's the perfect gift or something for anyone who enjoys the outdoors this fall or winter. So stop into Frank's Hardware today and get yours so you can stay comfortable before it's too cold. Deal G2 Seeds. The results speak for themselves. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. With ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6 inch, 8 inch, and 10 inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers. We're at Bucks and Bulls Archery this morning, and what I'm going to do is show you the importance of your stance, whether you're on a target shooting line or in the backyard, or maybe even more important, a hunting. And I'll explain to you why your stance should be like I'm going to show you during the hunting season. Okay, first of all, if I put my, this arrow is pointing at the target, and I have both of my feet with the arrow, um, my stance, what I should do is pull this foot back, open it up a little bit, and then open this one up a little bit. So my stance is like this, whether I'm in a tree stand or on a shooting line or in the backyard. And the reason you open up your stance like that is I'll show you the really important part is when you have your uh, hunting coat on. Now if I, my feet are back the way they were the first time I showed you before I moved them, this is where the string's gonna be on my arm, which I'm gonna hit my arm. I'm gonna think I need an arm guard, and I'm gonna whack my hunting coat so bad my arrows are gonna fly like really bad, and I'm gonna miss the deer, wound the deer, and then I'm gonna wonder what happened. So if I open that stance up like I showed you, now look where it moves the string. 
away from my arm. If I had a big bulky hunting coat on, I'd be okay. And I'm not gonna hit my arm. So, and the third reason is with this stance, shoulder width apart and your toes kind of opened up like that, you're more solid of a stance. If I'm like back like I showed you to start, I'd be tipping back and forth real easy. If I open it up like that, I'm pretty solid. It's kind of like any sport. You want to get a good solid foundation work. And that's where it all starts. Yet, it'll help you not hit your hunting coat. It'll help you be more steady and you won't hit your arm. This is my arm with a bad stance. Now I'm going to open my stance and the bow will move away from my arm. My bowstring will move away from my arm as much as four inches. Okay, this will definitely carry over into the tree stand. A lot of times when I'm on my tree stand, I'll move my feet when I see deer coming, I'll move my feet ahead of time to open up my stance like this where I think I'm gonna get my shot. And if it doesn't work where you get your shot right there, you can still take your shot, but try not to hit your coat with your arm. If I shoot like this at a deer, I'll probably hit my coat. I'll be teeter-totter and not steady. I'll open it up a little bit, get a good stance, move the string away from my arm, be solid, makes a good shot, kill a buck. Okay, and another thing, what you do, you wanna keep your weight like 60% maybe on the balls of your feet. Don't lean back on your heels. And don't, there's so many times I watch people on a line shoot, they have a stance that's kind of bad to begin with. And then they have one leg bent and all their weight's on one foot. And you, man, you can't stand steady at all like that. Just try it one time. It's terrible stance. Um, so lock your legs a little bit, keep the weight on your toes, keep a good stance and just follow through and make a good shot. And uh, that's about it. Hi, we're at the ISAA Pro-Am in Iowa today. It's day two. Yesterday we shot at the five spot targets with X's counting as sixes. You wanna tell them how you placed? Um, I was in first with a 339 and 41 axes. I'm in third right now with a 332. And today is the Vegas style target with X's counting as 11s. Yeah, Gary, how'd you do? Come in here. Come, Come on. on. Come on. This is my friend Gary. Hi, Haley. Hi, Gary. Hi, Katie. Hi. You guys ready for today? Oh, yeah. Oh. How'd you do yesterday? 341, not so good. Oh, that's okay? Yeah. Shake it off. And you already shot today, right? Yep. How'd you do? Well, a little below average. I don't know what place I ended up in. Oh. I probably dropped a couple places today. Okay. That happens. Yeah. You guys can pick it up a notch for me. <laughs>
Stay warm this winter with a heated jacket from Frank's Hardware. Get your rechargeable Milwaukee Tool heated jacket in a variety of colors and styles. It's the perfect gift or something for anyone who enjoys the outdoors this fall or winter. So stop into Frank's Hardware today and get yours so you can stay comfortable before it's too cold. Badgerland Hunting Blinds has designed a must-have portable hunting blind for any sportsman. These incredibly lightweight universal blinds were created by hunters and ice fishermen to withstand all forces of nature. Easy to transport and even easier to set up. Contact Josh online and visit portable-huntingblinds.com for more information. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. This mineral is a game changer. I've put the odds in my favor. It's time to close the deal. I wouldn't change a thing. Finally, the buck of a lifetime. Real Deal Mineral. The results speak for themselves. This is Boy Scout Group 265, Pack 265 from McDill School. And they came today to shoot archery. And like I was saying, we have two different size bows. So some of the smaller guys might want to grab a smaller one and you bigger boys might want to grab a bigger one. And if there's adult shoot, you might want to grab a bigger one, okay? And after you shoot a while, you'll know which one will fit you better, okay? Well, this one's smaller, see? And if you use the blue one, you can use the blue one the next time so you know how it works and stuff. Okay, now I'll show you how we're going to do this real quick so we can start shooting, okay? You see it in between each tube of arrows, there's a line. And we stand with one foot on each side of the line like this, okay? You don't have to stay behind the line to shoot. We're going to straddle it so everybody's in a nice straight line. Okay. You see how I loaded my arrow? The arrow goes on the arrow rest, like that. And then we put it in a loop like that, okay? And it'll kind of clip on, so you just clip it on like that. And then you hold your bow with your hand like this. And if you're right-handed, you'll face that way. And if you're left-handed, you'll be shooting like this way. And we do have some left-handed bows, so if you're left-handed, you can tell us, and we'll find you the left-handed bow, okay? Okay, and when we put our fingers on the string, we're going to put them all underneath like this, okay? And that way we can draw it back really nice. If we go like a lot of people want to do it like this, they'll pinch the arrow and it'll keep coming off. Every time you draw it back, it'll come off like this, so if you put it underneath, it doesn't come off of the rest, see that? Okay, and when we start, we'll line up and then we'll go one at a time first and after that we can all shoot together. All right, do you want me to shoot one and show you how to do this? Yeah. Yeah. I already know how to do it because I've been in it. All right, you can just take your coat off and come join us. Okay, we're going to straddle the line first, right? Everybody watching? Yeah. I grab my... I can't see it. Remove a Straddle the line, pick up your bow with your bow hand, put your fingers underneath the knock, and this is your knock on your arrow. This is the knock point where the arrow goes, but this is your knock. Yeah, these are toys, these are real bows, so you have to be careful. Make sure you always point that way, okay? Down Always this way. So you get your arm out, draw the bow back, and when you draw back, you can keep it right in front of your face so you can see where it's going to go. You don't have to be afraid of it and go like this. Just go in front of your face and line it all up. And when you're ready to shoot, just let your fingers slide off the string. Just like that. Oh, yeah. I know how to do it. Already, because I did it. All right. 
Okay, and then when you shoot your five barrels, you back off the line like this and you hang your bow up. And then we can go like behind the borax or something, okay? So until everybody's done. And then we'll all go get our arrows at the same time. And if you shoot on the first line, then we'll fill it up again on the second line with different people. Does that make sense? What if you do the middle? What if you do the middle? <laughs> if you're too little? No, what you do the middle? If you hit the middle? Yeah. I'll say good job. Oh, you get a high five. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, when you when you get up here, when you come up here and you gotta pull your arrows out, you put your hand on the target and pull them out. And if you get too many in your hand, you can lay them on the ground and pull them out, okay? And then we're gonna walk back and stick them in the tube. Alright? Everybody know how to do that? Yeah. Okay. So what do we have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 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 Did you do that on purpose? No! 
<laughs> if you want to get more accurate, what I did is I put some weight on my bolt, so when I'm shooting it, it's balanced and it's not tipping one way or the other. Like when you guys shoot those other bows, they kind of tip. This one will sit nice and straight because it's all balanced. And then I have a sight. You see the sight on there? I can look at that sight and aim at the target. And then that makes it a lot more accurate. And I even have a light on my sight so I can light up the little dot. See that? See that sight? Yes. The light only shines on the sight just to light it up so I can see it when it's getting dark. And then this is called a peep sight, so I can look through this little hole on my string. Okay, one more quick story. You see that deer up there? Yeah. With the arrow in his mouth. That deer took my arrow. They made me really mad, so I had to wrestle him down. And I have a big knife. You can look at the neck. I got him in the neck a couple times on both sides. That's my coat. He ripped my coat. It's on his antler. You see that? He's a really mean deer, but... I got him. Where my friends are I was just like, I, I was just like aiming and like, I I shot there and then like, I, I hit in the middle like, I hit it. Where'd you hit? Like, like in the top right corner of it, of the like, I hit in the middle. Let me go. I hit in the middle. You did too? Oh, I see it. Good job. Yeah, and that the one that was kind of curved. Now, I and this was like my second shot, and they were moved back from a four. So yeah, that was um books and bows on my Cub Scout pack was here, and um this is going to be it. So I guess bye, bye. Bye, thanks for coming. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching. Why are you so